know, early in my career, I did not know how to hold runners on. We've talked about it in the booth, but I figured maybe I'd show you ways to do it. In 1985, I had to face the St. Louis Cardinals, Vince Coleman and the gang, and they just had tremendous speed. The only way you could beat them was to hold runners on. Now, there's a few different ways to do it, and make sure you alternate it if you're out there so there's no pattern. One, you'll get a sign from the bench or your catcher to throw over. Well, you all know what that is. Simply just hold the ball and at some point turn and throw to first base to keep the runner close. The next one that you really want to do is to step off. And how is the step off done? Well, you have to make sure you have a count of three seconds before you step off. Why? I think the most important thing is that you want to see what the runner's doing. If you step off right away, you're not going to see if he thinks he might move to second base, that he might be a little jittery. So you wait three seconds, and then you step off. The bench, your manager, and even you will see if he wants to steal or not. The other one you can do is to hold the ball for a long time, and it's usually a four count. So if you're a young person out there, count to four Mississippis, and that will get a good base runner really just stuck in his place, and it'll be almost like he has cement shoes and he can't steal. And then the best one is after you've done all of these things to hold them close, you do what's called a slide step. So you come to the set, and instead of lifting your leg, you just take it straight to the plate. That's a slide step. It's a quick move, and it's one that always gets the runners uh, off their base and doesn't get them to get that really good jump. Now, we always talk about a pickoff move, and it's been in the news a lot lately. The Julio Tehran has one of the best for the Atlanta Braves. In fact, the Mets think it's a balk move. And Ron Gardenhire for the Twins recently got thrown out of a game because he thought that David Phelps of the Yankees had a balk move. Well, what is a Bach move? If you look at my front knee, the key for a right-handed pitcher is to have quick feet, to be able to spin around and throw an accurate throw. But what some pitchers will do with that front knee, because runners are looking at that, that they will bend it and then throw over. Well, why does that work as a Bach move? Well, one, you're not supposed to do that. And two, there's a key for the base runner. When they're watching that front foot, if it bends, it's the signal for them to go. So that's why it works against good runners. So when you're thinking about this stuff, and we talk about it all the time, and you're a youngster at home trying to hold runners close, if you do these four or five things, you certainly will be better, much better at holding runners on first.